yesterday, too. He did. Very perceptive. Very perceptive. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, he was throwing great. I, I asked him after he came out of the seven, talked to him a little bit, and he said he felt great. Um, you, you know, we there was a first pitch uh, or really early swing in, in that inning that kind of saved him. Um, as far as being able to stretch him out, I mean, we, we had Nate ready if anything started happening in that inning, but, um, you know, he, he seemed to get a little bit stronger. I think, um, you know, he had a couple 96s up there, and uh, he, he was great all night. He just was in control. Um, you know, the first inning got a, got a big double play ball, and then, you know, after that, he just seemed to kind of maneuver his way through it, and, um, you know, this, this is, it was good stuff. With uh, some of the finishes you've had, this year, a little nerve-wracking there in the uh, ninth inning. I, I mean, with baseball, y you know, you see that, um, you know, the tying run usually comes on deck. We do it whether it's 2-1 or 6 nothing. But, um, yeah, I mean, it just seems like we, we have nerve-wracking games all the time. But, um, you know, Robbie came in and, and picked Nate up. Nate's been doing it for us all year, and, and he'll continue to do that. Uh, you know, he, he uh, he's allowed to have a rough one. You know, now and again. Robin, how about he had in center field tonight? He did it all season in right. And, you know, obviously he can do it in center too. Well, he's he's a good outfielder. I, I know right. He's, I mean, probably the best right fielder in the game. And um, you know, for us, we ask him to kind of switch over every once in a while to center field, depending on the matchups. And um, you know, I think tonight he ran down. This is one of his better nights. I've seen him route route wise and and. Um, you know, going back on the ball. Um, you know, I, I think there were some plays there that really changed the dynamic of the game if he doesn't catch them.